guys, uh, how's it going? It's uh, Monday morning, and uh, today's video I'm going to be trying to knock things off my list. You know, that, that forever list I have, i got to start knocking things off, man. Uh, now that the electrical rough-in is all done, um, I'm going to get on this. the issues I have going on in here. One of them is the rad is too close to the fan. Uh, my power steering still isn't dialed in yet. And I'm going to move alternator, power steering, switch things around a little bit. So I'll show you what that's all about. Uh, also, it's a cloudy day and cool, so it's a good day for block sanding out in the uh, outside on the box. So I'm going to do some of that and, uh, you know, get that much closer to being ready for paint. So, uh, yeah, might as well just get to it and I'll show you what's going on. Okay, so this rad fan clearance thing, this is my own fault. Uh, like a dumbass. I made these extensions here to bring the rad closer to the engine. Um, right now I have it unbolted from this fender. So if I line up these bolts, this comes backwards. The fan that is, or the rad that is. And it's almost touching the uh, flex fan. So, easy fix. Lose these on both sides. Make up, this is two inch here, okay? Make up six spacers where the bolt locations are. Six inch and a half spacers. That'll bring the rad back, or the fan, yeah, the rad back, uh, you know, half an inch. Should give me about three quarters of an inch clearance, which should be more than enough. And because I don't have a shroud uh, for this, I did get my electric fan in. It's a push fan mounted to the outside here. So I'm going to put that in. It'll be wired to a uh, temperature sensor. So that if it does heat up, that fan will kick on. Should keep everything nice and cool. And also, while I'm in here and I've got this all apart, that's the time to get this power steering thing straightened away. <coughs> Excuse me. So what I want to do, you see how this line down here, it's hitting the block when you go to do your adjustment. So it's set up to catch the inner crank pulley what I want to do is bring it out to catch the outer crank pulley that'll give me some room here and I should have full adjustment that way so you know the power steering will be running off the outside crank pulley and coming off the water pump like that that means that I have to take the alternator and move it back to grab the inner crank pulley right now it's on the the one I want to use so that's a matter of shortening the spacer up shuffling some things around and just grabbing the inner pulley changing belts and all that stuff so uh, and while I'll, also while I'm in here this lower rad hose is a problem at the bend it wants to collapse when it's especially under high revs so uh, that cuts off your coolant so that's no good so I either got to get a rad hose with a spring in it or something um, to fix that make sure it doesn't collapse like that so those are the issues i got to do for that that means i have to take this apart the front fender this side i'm leaving on because my wiring harness goes through it but this fender and inner fender is coming off the rad support and all that it's all coming out so uh yeah there we go okay so i got a bunch of stuff done here uh these are my spacers for my rad um painted the uh painted those and painted the uh, power steering pump I had this mocked up and put in place. Um, the bracket that came with the kit, this bracket here, didn't fit. Go cool figure. <clears throat> so I got this one off a buddy of mine. He, it's an alt alternator bracket, actually. So I had to butcher it a little bit, make it work. But uh, everything's going to fit okay. Uh, I figured I might as well put the, the line on now while I'm, you know, while it's out and easy. And the pressure line goes down here uh, I should have pretty easy access to it after the pump is in so I can go ahead and put this together um, there's the end that I need that came out of the power steering pump and I'm going to be putting that or getting it put on the pressure line which is here and it's just kind of sitting there right now I just wanted to check for length and what have you and this is this will work out fine now uh just remember 
these these two fittings are different size this is the smaller one that's your pressure line the one at the top towards the rear is uh your return line so i can go ahead pull this off and uh put it together with that fitting and i'll get my my buddy to make up a, a line for me and then the alternator so i did move it back and it's catching the inside crank pulley now it's all good nice and solid um that belt's not the proper belt i gotta get one i just wanted to see what size i needed uh, i had this one so uh yeah i'm gonna go get uh i gotta go to princess and pick up a belt then i can start putting all this shit back together and i also uh found a spring for my rad hose it's see it it's in there there you go so that should keep it from collapsing and uh we'll be good there so yeah a whole bunch of things knocked off here so i just need to pick up uh, a couple of belts at least the inner one for sure get all this stuff back together okay so there's my setup and it's all good pull these all line up and everything else uh, i'm gonna have to trim this stud a little bit i don't want the, the belt to rub on it and i'm gonna hook up my uh the return line from the pump and hook it on into the uh rack while it's open now and uh these belts by the way are they're called fractional which means they're for low horsepower stuff you know one two horsepower engines or motors or whatever uh not made for cars um couldn't find them anywhere. I had to order them from an auto parts store. They're 30 bucks a piece. It gets insane. I mean, <laughs> for, for a freaking fan belt. Come on. Anyway, and I need two of them. So, uh, yeah, 60 bucks for belts. That's ridiculous. Anyhow, uh, when they come in, I'll put them on. I'm not going to bother putting a rat in until, uh, until all that stuff comes in, including the uh, power steering pressure line. Once I get it made up, so I'm going to leave this as it is for now. I'm just going to put the rad, get the rad back on to the uh, rad support with my uh, spacers over there. And uh, get it out of the way. And then we'll take a look at the list and see what else I can cross off. So, but that power steering pump, that, that was a pain in my ass, but it's finally in. And alternator's organized, everything's good. So, I'm happy. Okay, so... I want to get uh, my interior back together, so probably the first thing I should get in is the glass, so that I can, you know, protect the protect it. So uh, the first pieces of glass that are going to go in will be the vent windows, uh, because they also double as the track for the for the door glass. So I'm going to move the camera down here and show you where I'm at and. Uh, what we're doing okay so the first thing you got to do is, there we go so you got to get the uh the pin and the spring get the nut off so i've soaked this one with uh penetrating fluid and i've already taken out this one there's the spring and i got these funny shaped washers funny shape of a hole right to fit the uh, the shaft here so to remove the glass there's a little rivet here on the uh, pivot point and I'm gonna grind that bottom of the rivet off and try and poke that rivet out of there I put the cardboard there just so I don't uh, pit the glass all up for this there we go now I can see Oh, 
should be able to punch that out of there. I'll try to spring load with one first, see if that works. Gonna be stubborn. Okay. Never being stubborn. There she comes. Knock back on, tap it out. Two more washers. There you go. There it is. Okay. We can clean this all up. This glass is really good shape, actually. So this should clean up pretty good. Now I'm going to wrestle with this rubber and try and get this out of here. 
gonna come out in pieces because it's super dried up and crusty. Pretty lucky here. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Should I put the, the right one back in? <laughs> that goes like so. I'm gonna get this out. It's almost looks like a little Allen head. I think they are. with this getting this out and if I have to drill those or what I'll let you know okay so uh these were see the holes there those are uh where the rivets were we're holding that seal up and I just used a you know small drill bit cordless drill drilled them out and uh pop that out of there so now uh I'm ready to clean this up and paint it I'm just gonna go black and uh yeah, put the new rubber in, put the glass back in, and we'll call them done. So uh, I've got, what, I'm going to do the same thing on this one and get the two of them together. And uh, easy peasy. These are actually in a lot better shape than I thought they were, so that's a good thing. Anyway, there's a little bend in that one up there. You can see it. So we'll have to straighten that out. And, uh, yeah. I thought this was going to be a much tougher job. <laughs> <coughs> okay, so, uh, man, freaking hot and humid today, man. So, when it's hot and humid, what I like to do is uh, <sighs> have a nice cold one. So, a lot of little things dialed in. That's what I like. Cross it off the list. Power steering pump. Done. You know, um, the... Belts are such a pain in the ass. I can't believe it's that hard to find belts. I even went on Amazon and like it's all serpentine stuff or or you know mower belts or whatever. So uh yeah, special order. Go figure. And you know, 30 bucks a belt. It's it's freaking ridiculous. And you can see behind me I've got my my rad mounted back up on the uh rad support, so that's ready to go in as soon as that line gets here. Uh I guess he's working out of town still, so I gotta wait till he's home. I did see him on Sunday, and uh, I was in a rush when flew right past him. And uh, when I went by later, he was gone. So, what do you do? Anyway, we'll get that line made up. Um, plenty of other things to do. Like I said, I'm gonna get going on the glass. Uh, I've got the two. I got two pieces of windshield glass. They're cracked, but they're in, you know, together, uh, so they can be used for templates. So I'll bring them into local. Uh, windshield place and uh, get them cut I've got the rubbers for the windshield I got the rubbers for the back window I have a good back window and I have the door glass is good on both both doors I may have to 
tinted door glass to match the vent windows. I'm not sure. I'll have to see when, when I get the window uh, door glass in. There's a pretty good tint to those vent windows though. Got a green kind of tint, you know, old school. But uh, they're in good shape, so yeah, I'm not messing with them. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to keep hacking things off that list, man. Um, but uh, it, it's, it's slow going, I can I tell you. It's just the way it is. Um, you know, take your time and and the fact that you know you put something together and then you got to make adjustments after and you got to change things a little bit um it's how it rolls i did get this little fan here so cooling fan that's going to mount on the uh outside of the rad blowing in the uh kind of an auxiliary fan and uh everything is there for it so yeah we'll put that on and it'll just be controlled by a uh, temperature sensor so when it gets to a certain temperature, it'll just kick on. So it makes sure it doesn't get hot. Um, yeah, new subscribers, thank you very much. And uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. You know, 60, over 60% 60 of my viewers are non-subscribers. So, man, if even just a few of them would subscribe, make a huge difference to me. So think about it, please. And, uh, you know, hit the button, man. And uh, don't be shy. Don't be afraid to leave comments down below. And... Uh, you know, if you're not doing anything else, get in the garage and build something, man. Later, guys.